Hey filmmaker Shongli here, in this video I'm going to show you an easy method to do a self-writing text. Previously I'd done a tutorial already, however I didn't knew there is a write-on effect inside of uh, Premiere Pro, which is going to make a huge difference in uh, making a self-writing text and making it much, much easier. So first we're going to make a new title, go in here, title, it's okay. We're going to just write my name, Shongda. It's not too long, so it's easy to make. I think this one, handwriting Dakota, it looks nice. Let's make it bigger so we can see it much better. Maybe it's a bit too big. Make more like that. That looks nice. Okay, so dragging this onto the timeline. Now we're going to actually change the text to another color. Going to make it red so that it stands out a little bit and makes it easier to work with. And now we're going to make a transparent video. I press OK, drag this on top. And now we're going to into effects. We're going to video effects generate and we're going to choose the right on effect and put it onto the transparent video. Now go to effects controls. We're going to change the brush spacings to the lowest so 0 0.001 and then the stroke length we're going to change to 5 seconds or yeah how long you want the animation to be and then change these we can actually leave it as it is and we're going to go here and we're going to move this over to the starting point we're going to put in and we're going to hit toggle animation and now we're going to move this keyframe actually to the first one and actually going to the start, hold down shift and arrow left uh, and now press arrow twice to move two frames actually let's move three frames and now we're going to move this anchor over here to and we can actually go in much closer there's actually Bezier's here we can actually move so we can actually move the Bezier's more nicer so it follows the path of the letters better. And let's move three frames further. Now we're going to move this again. Again we're going to try and get hold of the Bezier's. aren't that easy and actually this one can go actually let's leave it there and then maybe like one frame between it and then move this over here Sure, this bezier doesn't go wild like that. And I'm going to move three frames again. Let's oh. let's move the anchor again to here. I think you get my point what is going on and actually right now we can actually make this thicker so that it covers over all the reds. Okay, so now we finished all the effects. So 
Now you can easily change the speeds by just moving the keyframes. So there are certain areas where it goes slower or faster. So you can change that. But right now it looks okay for how I've done it. I think the H here we are going way too slow. So we're going to move and look at those keyframes. So I can see there's like a big gap here. So let's move it here, change it one, two, three, four, and drag in all these keyframes closer. And now we're going to play in the animation. And right now it looks correctly uh, in speed. And now we're going to effects. We're going to key, choose track mat key, drag it onto the title. And we're going to choose matte. We're going to choose layer three where the text is. And now we can see the animation. And we're going to change the text color to white again. So that was the self-writing text inside of Premiere Pro. Hope you guys liked this video and please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more upcoming videos, please subscribe. Also check out my other videos. There's also a lot of other tutorials, presets, reviews and previews and more. And if you have any technical questions, join us on Facebook. There's a link in the description below. And if you have any other questions or suggestions, please comment below and I'll see you the next time. Bye bye.